In this short video, we're going to show you how easy it is to edit your text. So over in the design tab under create vectors, we're going to click on this icon here that enables us to draw text. So here I'm just going to enter a uh, vectric in the field here and then software underneath. And we're going to use this as our example to show how we can edit this text. So we're first going to look at how we can edit the space and all the kerning between our characters and lines. So if you wanted to bring letters closer together, you can do that by simply clicking between each of those letters. Now you'll see my cursor is displayed two arrows pointing towards each other. And that's telling us that if we click now with our left mouse button, then we are bringing those characters closer together. And we can see the result of that. Now, if I wanted to take them further apart, so move them away from each other, all I need to do is just hold down my shift key. And now you can see that we've got arrows that are facing away from each other. And again, with my left mouse button, I can click to increase that spacing like so. And then you can work your way through each one of the characters where you could look at uh, increasing or decreasing the spacing that you have between each of those characters. Now, if you wanted bigger increments, then you can simply hold down control at the same time. So if we just put this to shift so that we're moving the characters away and also hold down control, you can see we're getting much bigger increments there. And then again, uh, if you just want to bring them closer together, but in big increments, hold down shift, and then you can just click to bring those closer together. Now you can also apply kerning to all of your characters all at the same time. So for example, if we want to extend the space in between each of the characters for software, let's just hold down shift to change those arrows. And then if we also hold down alt, and when we click, you can see that all of the characters are being spaced like so. And obviously to bring that back again, just hold down Alt, but without your Shift key, just to bring them back. So not only can we edit the space in between characters, but we can actually edit the space in between lines also. So you can see between the Vectric and the software line, we have lines with arrows pointing uh, at each other, down and up. And so if I click, I'm going to bring those two lines closer together. And again, if I hit Shift, you'll see the arrows are facing away from each other. And if I click, you'll see it brings those further apart. Again, you can use control to increase those increments as well. So again, let's just uh, send them further apart again and we'll just press control and you'll see it does that in much bigger increments. And again, we can do that, bring them both together, just holding control, no shift here. And then again, just to bring those closer together. Now, if you wanted to separate your text into lines, so you have two separate text entities, you can do that by right clicking and then using the text option and then use this option here to break block into lines. OK, so then when you click on each one, you'll see that we're able to activate each one individually. So we're just going to click on the Vectric text here. So you can see here, we've got a green handle on the top, we've got a green handle on the bottom. And these handles indicate that the text can be arced either upwards or downwards. And so we can do that by clicking on the handle and then just drag in. You can see we're arcing that downwards. And if I pull that back up, we can see we can easily put that back into its original straight state. And then again, if I take this handle up here, I can drag that up to arc it upwards. So now that we've arced our text, you can see we've got additional handles displayed here. So first off, we've got our standard white handles, which enables us to move our text like so. And we've got a red handle here and we've got a blue handle over here. So the red handle here allows us to rotate the text around the center point of our arc. And so when I click on that, you can see I'm able to rotate that round into any position that I like. 
And if I hold down the control key whilst moving the red handle, that will just force the rotation to be in increments of 15 degrees, which can be quite handy. Then we have the blue handles at the bottom. And so when we drag on this, what this does, it will just adjust the radius uh, without actually moving that arc center. And so you can do a total wrap like so, or you could just really increase uh, the radius there. So just gonna put that back to somewhere around here. And it's worth noting that whilst your text is in arc mode, you can still kern your text using all of the options that we went through earlier and if you wanted to edit text as well you can add more text and it will just follow the arc that you are using so we'll just go ahead and we'll just go and delete that and then what we'll do is we'll just close out of the form Okay, so it's worth noting here that if you open a file and you've already got some text in, you can still access the editing tools by selecting your text and then going into the draw text tool where you'll be given the options to go through all of those different settings that we looked at in this session. And that's how you edit text. Thank you for watching.